All right, what's going on guys? Today we're gonna to be looking at Frenzied Affinity. This is a new Affinity deck and I can't take credit for it. This is not my idea, at least not the Frenzied part. There's a popular streamer and a tournament grinder who uh, who came up with this, but we're going to apply it to Blast Affinity and see how it does. Yeah, this isn't something that I normally do. I don't usually jump on the hype train of new decks, but it is an Affinity deck, so let's give it a try. So if you're not familiar with Frenzied Affinity, basically it's looking to kind of go off with experimental frenzy this card has been very popular and standard not necessarily in modern but this thing has a lot of potential and it seems pretty sweet so experimental frenzy is a four mana enchantment that says you can look at the top card of your library and just straight up cast it cast cards straight from the top of your library it does come at a cost and that you can't cast cards from your hand but that's really a problem with affinity because you typically just dump your hand out anyway and the value you get out of this is just it's too good so look here Here's the thing with Affinity. It's really, really fast, right? You know, you're playing Mim Knight, you're playing Ornithopters, you're playing Signal Pests, maybe you get a Cranial Plating or a Steel Overseer. You know, you put out all of these artifacts super, super quick. And you know, Affinity, it can win games in like three turns sometimes. It's pretty crazy. But here's the problem. If your opponent can control the board effectively enough, especially with board sweepers, time and time again when you play Affinity, you get into this position where your board is empty, your hand is empty, and you're on top deck mode and your top decks with affinity are terrible when you're just hoping to get something off the top of the deck to get you back in the game and you're drawing ornithopters and mim knights you lose you just lose you can't do it affinity is really really bad in top deck mode and it finds itself in top deck mode all the time that that's the problem with affinity it could win really really quick but if the opponent can wipe the board you're in top deck mode and it's bad experimental frenzy fixes that so what happens with experimental frenzy frenzy as you play it technically you know you have to put your hand aside your hand's gone it's dead assuming you have a hand at all and then you look at the top card of your library as if it's an ornithopter you cast it for free then you look at the next card if it's a mim knight you cast it for free then you look at the next card if it's a signal pest you cast it for one then you look at the next card if it's a you know a spring leaf drum fantastic you cast that for one then you look at the next card if it's a steel overseer you know if you still have mana i mean you just put a spring leaf drum in play maybe you can tap for mana you play that and that's what it does it allows you to just churn through your deck because your cards are so inexpensive when you play experimental frenzy basically you just get to draw another hand that's basically what happens and you get to do that every single turn because you just churn through your deck you play tons and tons and tons of stuff and if your opponent has another board wipe that's a bummer next turn you just churn through your deck some more and it's crazy it, it allows you to recover from board wipes it's kind of great it does have the drawback of if you hit two lands in a row then that kind of stops your chain because you can only play one land per turn but you can play lands from the top of your deck you do get to play one of those one per turn so yeah it's just it fixes what's wrong with regular affinity with the non-hardened scales version of affinity this fixes it this fixes the problem with affinity i'm going to be playing five games with this deck and uh, i hope you guys will be able to see that a few times because it's kind of great and then because we're playing the blast affinity version if you didn't see blast affinity it was a series on the channel basically i took a budget version of affinity without arc bound ravagers and mock sopos and whatnot and added galvanic blast and shrapnel blast technically galvanic blast is already in the deck sometimes but we're playing four copies of galvanic blast and four copies of shrapnel blast so the idea was to get reach through burn spells and this is even better with experimental frenzy because you know we can start ribbon cards off the top of the deck and it can be like you know mim knight for free galvanic blast four to the face ornithopter for free shrapnel blast five damage to the face galvanic blast four damage to the face ornithopter you know it's just like not only are we turning through our deck but we also just have tons and tons of damage from burn spells so it's kind of great so anyway let's just take a super quick look at the deck i mean it's pretty simple we played affinity on this channel before and if you want more like in-depth explanation as to how affinity works or blast affinity uh, i'll leave a link in the description to uh the blast affinity deck tech but basically we're going to be playing two experimental frenzies in the main board there will be one more in the sideboard as well because we do want more of them against control decks and things that are wiping the board and whatnot it's also it's kind of bad to have multiples of them just because if we play one and then our next card or you know as we're turning through our deck if we hit an experimental frenzy that's 
that's kind of like it, it stopped our chain so we don't want too many of them our main plan is still to just flood the board go crazy try to kill the opponent really quick but experimental frenzy is going to be really good in control matchups against stuff that's wiping the board and whatnot we're also going to be playing four mem knights four ornithopters four signal pest and four bolt scourge as the you know super quick aggro creatures we're also going to be playing four cranial platings and three spring leaf drums cranial platings are a win condition they just make a really really big creature and spring leaf drums is a way to kind of ramp into more mana faster we're also going to be playing four steel overseers which are fantastic especially in this build because we will just flood the board over and over and over again so steel overseers even better than usual and then we're only going to be playing one copy of master of ethereum and that's because it's it's expensive we really want to be low to the ground on the curve we don't want too many things that cost three to four mana because we are looking to just churn through our deck and stuff like this will you know it'll cause us problems as we're just ripping cards off the top of the deck over and over again so it's a really nice card to hit and we're going to be churning through our deck so much that you know one copy it, it gives us a pretty good chance of hitting it just because of how many cards we're going to go through but you know it's also not going to you know constantly be a pain if we hit it over and over again so yeah one's fine we're also going to be playing here's the crazy part two lightning bolts as well as four galvanic blast and four shrapnel blast lightning bolts not commonly played in affinity because affinity isn't really looking to be interactive but that changes now that changes with experimental frenzy i'm actually finding myself blowing up creatures in the early game so i can actually stall until i can get to frenzy mana until i can get the four mana for experimental frenzy it actually keeps happening i'll get an experimental frenzy in my hand and it's just like okay i just need to kill stuff and stall the game until i can get to turn four that actually happens now so no this deck is still looking to just go no zero to 60 instantly you know just push out as much damage as possible definitely that's still the case but with experimental frenzy you can actually play a little bit more interactively and stall the game so that you can win it on like turn five with an experimental frenzy totally happens kind of great and then the mana base super simple we're playing four spire of industry three cascade bluffs four dark steel citadels cascade bluffs just a budget you know dual land uh steam bits and stuff might be cheaper now because of the reprints but i'm just gonna be running these it's fine and then a pile of basics pretty simple moving on to the sideboard of course we have that other experimental frenzy just in case we want three of them don't want three of the main board but want a better chance of hitting it against control decks then we're gonna be playing four tormod scripts for dredge we'll be playing two etched champions for black deck with lots of spot removal two ancient grudges for you know other artifacts with flares for tokens uh particularly uh lingering souls tokens gear per ether grid for the same reason and a single hope of gear per just as an extra flyer just in case and that's the deck that is frenzied affinity basically just typical affinity but that experimental frenzy it might seem really small but it changes the way the deck is played kind of dramatically it just the deck feels so different with that if you watched blast affinity you're probably like this is basically the same thing but with one card but it changes the way the deck feels dramatically and when you get that experimental frenzy in play man it feels so good it feels really really good i'm really hoping we get to that typically we'll get to it at least once in a match or at least every other match but i'm telling you man experimental frenzy super fun can't wait to show you guys because every single time i've had it it's just been it's been a blast it's been great so hopefully we'll get to that anyway if you want to see the five matches that i will be playing with this deck as always check the description there should be a playlist and i will see you in the first match